All right, what up? It's your boy D. That with Major Music and T. Dot com. Uh, just coming at you guys to talk a little bit about uh, you know some of the mobile apps and pretty much my whole like mobile setup I use as far as creating on iPad. Uh, like some of the apps that I use, as well as the MIDI keyboards that I use. Um, if you're not following me right now on Instagram, go ahead, follow me at D dot underscore major music. That's D E E D O T underscore major music. Um, and I'll follow you back on Instagram. My old account actually got erased or shut down, whatever you want to call it, by Instagram. So um, I haven't connected with quite a few people that used to follow me it's like I actually have two different accounts now and everybody's kind of scattered on both on both sides so um, yeah go ahead hit me with the follow all right so um, what I have right here is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro uh, the 2018 model to be exact I've been using the 12.9 iPad Pro third generation uh, pretty much since the day it came out in 2018 and before that I actually had the first generation um, I kind of skipped over the second generation because I felt my first was still running pretty good at the time but I actually got into doing like some video editing on Luma Fusion for example and um, though I was able to do it on the first generation iPad Pro I found that it worked much better on the third generation obviously because of the faster processor um, and also working with like 4k video it allowed me to be a little more efficient in terms of creating so uh, yeah 12.9 inch iPad Pro now let me also say this you don't necessarily have to go with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro you don't necessarily have to go with the iPad Pro there are several pretty good models out there on the market um, I would say do your best research um, but they range anywhere from like 329 on up I think for like the 10.2 inch model uh, so yeah now, as far as what I'm using to create on a go um, I'll probably say out of all the apps that I use on my iPad Beatmaker 3 is probably the one that I use most to create beats only because um, I feel it's really good at a multitude of things. I feel like I can open up Beatmaker and use it just like I would use Machine or Logic at home. Uh, pull up my synthesizers um, AUV format on here. Uh, if you don't know what AUV is, they've actually, think of it as like a VST for example for a uh, desktop. It's a beat maker again, again $24.99 inside of the app store. Uh, sometimes if you're lucky you might catch it on sale for less. I know at one time I think they've had it for like 10 bucks even free in some cases. Uh, so be on the lookout for that when inside of the app store. Core Gadget 2. Well Core Gadget actually reminds me uh, more of Reason in terms of it's like Reason has its own kind of like synthesizers and instruments inside of Reason. Uh, Chord Gadget has a lot of its own individual um, gadgets or synthesizers, drum machines, whatever you want to call it. Um, now this one I think it's like $39.99. It's been so long since I bought this. Uh, might be $39.99 or $49.99. I like Chord Gadget simply because I can just you know, if I don't have that much time, I can just open up Chord Gadget, bang out a beat, you know, if I have 10, 15 minutes uh, to go, and it doesn't really, like, lag or anything in terms, and not to say that Beatmaker 3 does, but there are times when, depending on the instrument that you are loading, sometimes the Beatmaker, it might take a little bit longer than other times uh, to load, but Chord Gadget 2, um, I feel like it not as reliant on your iPad processor um, as Beatmaker is. And there have been times, like for example, um, I'm mixing inside a Beatmaker and I don't know if I'm running too many like plugins or what, but it kind of slows down. And um, 
there was even one time where I had to just export all of my stems and mix my session inside of Logic on my Mac because it was just, I guess I had too many tracks for my iPad to handle. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about a free app that comes on your iPad um, or, you know, your iPhone as well. Um, that is GarageBand. Now, um, I wish they would have had something like this again when I started making beats years ago. Just like I was describing Beatmaker 3 in terms of being able to use AUV plugins for more sounds inside of GarageBand, you can do the same thing here. Um, it does have a really good selection to start off with of uh, sounds. Uh, there is the Alchemy synth, just like there is in Logic. Um, and for example, the layout is very similar to Logic. So maybe you know you might be starting out right now and you're just looking for something good to start making beats in, and then you might move on to Logic. So if you do end up making that transition from like GarageBand to Logic, it's gonna be pretty easy for you because you're gonna rec recognize, excuse me, um, the similar layout similar instrument. The only thing I wish they would kind of change inside of GarageBand is um, I wish there was an actual mixer instead. You know, each individual track has its own sliders, but there's not actually a, you know, traditional mixer like we would see like in Beatmaker or Cubases or Logic or, you know, something like that, for example. Um, but you can make some pretty good uh, beats inside of GarageBand. Also, they have every now and then they may add more sounds um, inside of the sound pack section of GarageBand. Uh, definitely, again, a free app and uh, worth checking out to you know all you both new users and uh, if you've been using iPad for your beats for quite some time and you know you may just want something different to bang out in from time to time. I know I like to switch up on the apps that I'm using. I just gave y'all a couple uh, right here, but I actually use some other ones like Cubases. Um, Cubase is actually going to be a full-fledged dog. Uh, and um, yeah, that's. Oh, and I use iMachine as well. Um, I kind of just bounce back between different apps just depending on how I'm feeling and you know, different inspiration I get by opening uh, different apps. As far as like on my Mac, just like I said, I use uh, Machine and Logic most of the time. Some of you may have seen the iPad as well as this if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and some of my videos. Uh, the Arturia Mini Lab, um, of course, works with the Mac as well. I like this one. It is going to be a 25K, as you can see here. However, um, it does have a little bit bulk to it. So like if you plan on traveling with the Arturia Mini Lab, um, you probably wanna have a little bit bigger bag to transport this in. Uh, but I like the pads on here. Uh, the keys are semi-weighted. Um, and again, the fact that I can use this with both my iPad and my Mac is a plus as well. Uh, this is actually the adapter that I use. Um, to connect my MIDI keyboard with my iPad Pro. Um, one side right here, you can see there's USB and HDMI. And then when I flip it over, um, here you have another USB-C port. So like for example, the audio interface I have, the Persona Studio 26C, it actually not only plugs in through standard USB, but I can plug it directly through USB-C as well. And then of course, to go into the iPad Pro, you got the USB-C input right here. Now this adapter um, I got through Hyper, I believe actually was on sale for like 50 bucks, uh, but I believe it might run a little bit more than that, maybe about 70, maybe 80 dollars. Gotta check on Hyper's website, uh, but I've been using this one for about a year or so, maybe a little longer. And uh, pretty reliable. I haven't had any issues with it as well. Now I also use the Roly Seaboard block um, on the go as well. I would probably say I take this one with me more when I go places uh, more than the 
mini lab only because this is a little bit more compact and the fact that it also is Bluetooth um, it's probably one of the better Bluetooth MIDI controllers that I've used personally on the market um, and just like the mini lab not only compatible with the iPad Pro but also the Mac uh, for example MPE MIDI polyphonic expression is actually a standard now um, which there's Equator the plugin made by Roly uh, which uses MPE and this is actually a great um, this is actually a great tool to use for you know almost kind of like you're playing an instrument for real you can express yourself uh, by how much you press down on the keys or um, you've probably seen you probably seen some of my videos where I'm kind of demonstrating uh, how you can use MPE to create music um, a lot more VSTs and plugins uh, not just again on the Mac side but also the iOS side in fact uh, you could actually use noise which is the free app that comes with it inside of Cubases and that uses MPE now of course if you have the seaboard block um, I also suggest getting one of the Roly blocks uh, the light pad M now I don't know for sure if they're still selling these um, directly on their website or where you can get them um, but these are also actually small MIDI controllers that uh, if you haven't seen them yet they form together to uh, build a modular studio and then I also have the uh, loop block which you can use to control your apps or your programs you could actually use it uh, for example inside the noise app uh, to control noise in terms of like recording playing switching instruments etc and then this also comes apart and then it just snaps right in as well now um, all of these devices actually charge via USB-C and if you wanted to you can actually also connect these directly USB-C to your iPad Pro or again if you have a MacBook Pro that has USB-C or iMac that has USB-C you can do it through there as well uh, now the Seaboard block that'll run I believe 279 and then uh, the light pad M uh, that was 199 now when I'm gonna go I obviously cannot bring my studio monitor so my headphones of choice um, these actually run about $99 you can find them on Sweetwater or probably um, your local guitar center or Sam Goody um, I like these to mix in because they offer a pretty flat response in terms of um, you know it's not going to be too much on the low end or the high end kind of right in the middle and it gives you a lot more a uh, lot better sound to work with I feel like I've been having much better mixes since I started using these $99 you can probably find these at Sweetwater, Sam Ash or Guitar Center alright I just wanted to give you all a a uh, short tour of the mobile setup for 2020 and you know how I'm using my iPad for music production. I uh, hope I provided a little bit of insight and direction to a lot of people that want to get started making beats on their iPad. Uh, if you like this video go ahead follow me on Instagram at D dot underscore major music that's D E E D O T underscore major music and I'll follow you back and uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well while you're here. I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. And uh, I'm going to try to bring these videos to you guys more often. Um, I got several ideas that I'm kind of going through in my head right now. If you have any, any suggestions, go ahead, comment, leave me a suggestion down there. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Until then, peace.